Hey everybody, welcome back to, uh, to, well, to episode 35 of the Knife and Tool Nerd channel. So today we're going to have a look at one of my survival knives. One of the knives that I keep in my sort of go bag, survival kit, for want of a better word. Um, this knife is made by a company called Gerber in the United States. Um, it is an older model. It is the LMF2, which we have here, which we're going to get a closer look on. This is still quite original uh, everything where the leg straps are the original leg straps which came with this knife etc uh, there's a lot to talk about yeah you've got the rubber sort of grabbing material so that these leg straps grab onto you you've got this incredible sheath which can be mounted either leg well pretty much any which way you want to of course you've got the integrated knife sharpener over here for sharpening your straight edge blade you've got the pommel on the knife but um, yeah very, very tight, snug fit even after years. Place your thumb on here, push up against it, and there you have the Gerber LMF2 survival knife slash blade. This is one beast chunk of steel. Um, you can use this thing for hacking, chopping, pretty much anything. To give you an idea of the size of this knife, she is quite a sizely beast. Um, it dwarfs many of the other knives that I have, including survival knives. But let's take a bit of a closer look at this knife, um, just to give you an idea. Uh, before we do that, you've got your straight edge, serrated edge, thick chunk of steel. Um, I wouldn't say this is fire steel compatible because it's quite smooth on the back edges. It's not on a full 90 degree, but I suppose you could grind it to that if you wanted to, or grind a section. These two holes over here, or for strapping it to a pole or a plank or something like that so you could use it as a spear of course you've got another hole over here at the back which you could use for that strapping then you've got this heavy metal pommel over here which you can use for breaking glass etc and then this flat section at the back which it could be used for driving or hammering something um, all in all after a few years you can see this blade coating is still in good nick a really good knife, a really decent survival knife. Let's just take a quick look at it on the bench as a first look and then you'll probably see this knife being used out in the field in future upcoming videos. I'm going to be starting a new series on Knife and Tool Nerd about survival equipment, um, outdoor survival, uh, cityscape survival, etc. We've been through a lot over the last couple of months. Uh, we've learned a lot from other people. Uh, looting happening from sort of mid-year last year. Uh, we've had a disaster with flooding in, in, in KZN, Ete, Guini, Durban. Um, no water, no electricity. We've had to make plans. So I'm going to talk a little bit about some of those plans that we've made and how we've managed to get through all of that and prepare for any future things that may come. Um, now, I'm not necessarily a prepper per se. I've never been one to stockpile foods and that sort of stuff. But I think it's a good idea to have reserves or resources available to you, such as stored water, um, possibly growing some foods and stuff. But uh, stockpiling foods is not my thing. Um, I do think it's a good idea to possibly grow some foods. Um, keep certain tools and equipment around that you may need. Uh, get your power off grid so you have multiple power solutions instead of just relying on Eskom nowadays. And of course, an alternative source of water. We've had three weeks with almost no water. So we've had to make do and learn different ways of collecting water, keeping water, purifying water, etc. So there'll be more talks about that stuff in upcoming videos. But for now, I just wanna get back onto our topics of some of these knife and tool reviews that uh, of these knives that I've recently started pulling out of the woodwork and making use of or practicing with, or whatever the case may be. Let's have, to have a quick look at this guy on the bench and you guys can make your decision. For me, this is my absolute favorite fixed blade to date. Um, more coming, we'll chat. Let's check it out. All right, yeah, so here we have the LMF2 Gerber uh, up on the bench. We all know um, that this knife is dedicated more as like a survival style knife. Uh, comes with a really cool pouch, leg straps, etc and a really decent solid uh, blade, pommel for breaking glass, etc. It's not a full tang due to the insulation between the blade and the back over here. So you could use this to cut electrical cable and of course you wouldn't get electrocuted. It's got these lashing holes 
which allow you to tie it on to use it as a spear and just all around a really really cool blade and quite a chunk of steel as well just to give you an idea index finger thumb it's quite a hefty blade really cool really nice piece of kit uh, now i will be utilizing this in some bush, bushcrafting sort of uh, videos to show you guys what its capabilities are how solid it is and how well it holds up over time so let's get down and take a look <laughs> 